You guys know we got to come visit Diamondback. I got my buddies Mark and Harris here, and they have some awesome news to share with everybody because the collab that we've all been waiting for is finally here. E3D and Diamondback with the Diamondback Revo. Talk to us about this. Right, yeah, we've been working with E3D for some time now in the collaboration of this product. Go ahead and grab one here, pull it up. You know, it's the familiar thing Revo, is... Revo nozzle. It's gonna work with all the Revo ecosystems, independent of the heater that you have. As you said, it's got the diamond tip on there yeah, now. So almost, I'll grab one that's open. We've been printing some of the most gnarly and abrasive filaments through this thing, and it's it's holding up, it's withstanding. I wanna act surprised, but I'm not surprised, sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I'm not exactly surprised either. It, it is no, you know, no secret that I'm a bit of a diamond fanboy, and of course, channel sponsors as well. Thank you guys for your support of the content of what we do. This has been what we've wanted for a long time. I mean, now is as long as you have a pretty standard hot end, whether it's Revo, whether it's V6, heck, they just released ones for Anchor Make. There's the MK8 nozzles as well. You can put a diamond on whatever printer that you have. And uh, yeah, these are awesome. Yep. To find these nozzles, it's actually going to be sold through E3D, uh -huh. not through our Amazon channel there. So you can go to RevoDiamondback.com. Okay. It'll probably be, you know, later October where it actually becomes alive in all the different reseller channels. But yeah, if you're here at the show, swing by a printed solid and you can pick one up. I am so excited for these. And of course, I know you guys have maybe heard this before, but I'm a bit of a packaging geek and I love really good packaging. And Diamondback does not cease to really impress with this packaging. Again, the same style where it's custom cut foam with all metal and uh, here. I mean, it is just a wonderful mechanism with glass and metal. It's unnecessary, but it adds just that little bit extra awesome to the product. You guys have seen us test diamond nozzles before. And in fact, these guys have been on the podcast. We'll cart that episode so you can take a look but this is the first step in the right direction for me for bringing diamonds into more 3D printers because diamond is a maker's best friend and they don't pay me to say this, but this is truly the last nozzle you'll ever need. Uh, and, and I was saying that before they ever helped us out here on the channel. So seriously, get some Diamondback nozzles in the description down below. Take a look at them. What else is going on with these? Like, what else do we need to know? So right now, we've only got the 0.4 and 0.6 available here at the show, but we're going to expand. Oh, guys, I say, I see other sizes. Yeah, so yeah, you've got the 0 0.25, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, um, and we'll also have a 0 0.8. Awesome. So this series won't have the 1.0 millimeter as our other offerings, but got those varieties that will be in the Revo ecosystem. These are the collabs that we need in this community. Companies working together. Nice dog. Rather than oh, fighting. You, you know, you're, okay, you know. so uh, Grant, Grant's talking about that, and I'm gonna jump in here because the collab happened because Grant and his, what is it? Uh, three three quarter better half or better three quarters. Uh, better Amber. three quarters, Amber. See, we've watched, we 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 know Grant well enough to know Amber. And, Amber and, Amber's running the camera right now. Everybody say hi, Amber, hey, in the comments. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the collab happens because of guys like Grant and Amber that gave us a chance that kind of introduced us in, initially to some of the folks in the industry. I mean, honestly, the the Revo ecosystem the, that we were able to talk with E3D and others because we were able to talk with Grant and get to know him. And so I, I think we're, we're excited to, to collaborate, but I think it, it's a reflection of what this industry is about and what the maker community is about. And, you know, from our standpoint, we, 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 we love what Grant's doing, but we do it because Grant's a good representative of this community. And that's, that's what we like to come in together. You are anyway. way too kind. No, no, no. I wish you were the only one commenting on our videos. <laughs> No, we trust him. We de definitely trust him. Uh, but guys, seriously, this is this is this to me is the right steps. We see a lot of companies copying each other and fighting, and that's not where we need to be. We need to be working together to bring this industry to a new height, to be better, to be cooler, to be nicer. And this is really the first step. So I am so excited for Diamond Revos. I'm sure we're gonna have them on the channel coming soon. So stay tuned for that. Let us know your thoughts about the Diamondback Revo in those comments down below. Because you know what? If you run a Revo system, you really got to get these in there. 
because then you don't need to carry a bunch of extra nozzles. It makes life easy. And while yes, obsidian is there, you know what's harder than obsidian? Diamonds. Continuing coverage of the East Coast Rep Rap Festival 2023 coming right at you. Let's move on to the next one. You all know it's a rep rap fest and that means we got to be here at e3d uh but this is not georgia or mm. claire it's sorry yeah it's okay this is mike mike is the guy that continually makes fun of me on social media but just in the dms and sends me things to just physically upset me because he won't be able to tell me what they are but he just likes to mess with me likes to tease you specifically but mike is actually pivotal in one of the coolest uh, collabs that I've seen in a while, the E3D Diamondback Revo Diamond Nozzles. They're super cool. Yes. Talk about what this was like. I, I We saw the presentation, and by the way, Patreon members and channel supporters, you guys have access to that full presentation. But the, the, the funny bit of it was, what was the hardest thing for you guys when, when trying to work with Diamondback? The hardest thing working with Diamondback is getting to do metric drawings. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> metric is better. Face 10 for the win. All right. Yeah, absolutely. This whole fraction. No, no one likes fractions. No. Decimals are where it's at. But so talk to us about you know, this project and what it took and some of the really awesome things involved in it. Yeah, sure. So it's been like about 18 months, something like that, to get to the point where we are now. Uh, originally, the Diamondback guys came over and kind of introduced themselves at, at form next uh no it would have been rapid and uh we actually already knew about them we'd secretly back their kickstarter to get hold of one of the nozzles when we saw it was coming out nice um because we love to do that with with everything obviously um and then it was all about how we're going to get the diamondback sort of nozzle technology into the revo ecosystem because people were campaigning for that including yourself i, I, I was i remember last year talking about it saying this is what i need I need this. Now, it is a little pricey though, right? It is, um, and it's certainly up at the top end of the, the Revo nozzle offerings yeah. uh, that we have, but you're paying for that that diamond technology. It's not Little it's not a cheap it's diamonds. not a cheap thing for the guys to produce over a diamondback either. Right. And the nozzles, they're 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 amazing, right? It's literally one of the last nozzles you'll need. And it's two of my favorite companies, man, two of my favorite companies working together and I know that it's not obvious to the viewers, but you guys are actually looking at each other here at, at the East Coast Rep Rap Festival they're as well. They're right, now. they're they're right across and they're making funny faces at us every now and then. I've always loved the Revo system because it truly does kind of unlock the fun of changing nozzles more often. Yeah, exploring the different nozzle sizes and actually thinking exactly. about it. You do, you always choose what filament you're going to use for your print. Right. right. You should think about your nozzle size as well, right? It's so true. And really looking toward being able to change your nozzles quick, simple, without burning yourself and without potentially shorting out your printer or hurting something is really the right way to do it. And that's why the Revo ecosystem to me always been one of the best things. But there's a new thing too. Another new thing. Yeah, it, it, there is a new thing. You want to hold um, A panda. A panda. Because pandas like? Eucalyptus. Mm. It's a bamboo Revo. Yeah. Um, I need this. Yeah, so this is a collaboration that we've got with the, the guys at Big Tree Tech um, uh -huh. and uh, Revo Heater Core. It's going to plug straight into your P1P bamboo, uh, unlocks the ability to use all of your Revo nozzles on there. This is awesome. Drop in replacement. Especially if you are looking to run a print farm and you want to standardize all of your nozzles. Look, like bamboo or hate them, their printers are fast and when they work, at least in my case, they print well. This ensures that, well, at least you have the same ecosystem you're used to. And you have E3D quality sitting in the hot end, and I'm assuming somewhat E3D quality in the milling of the heat sink as well. Or is BQ doing the heat sinks? BQ is doing the, the supply of the heat sinks, but obviously we've got a collaborative working relationship there. Everything's, yeah. everything's as it needs to be. I love it. I, I, I love that you guys called it the panda. Pandas eat bamboo. 
I like that. It's a lot of fun. Is there any limitations to this? Uh, so at the moment, uh, with the, I guess the P1P series, uh, it has different connectors on there for if you wanted to fit it to your X1. Uh, right. I believe the plan is uh, that you just would have to change the crimps out and then you'd be able to fit it to an X1. So that's a limitation from the, the fitment side. But in terms of fitting all your Revo Diamondbacks, your Obsidians, they all just drop straight in and good to go. Look, man, I, I on, my, on my diamond nozzle printers, I don't care as much as I do on all the other machines because I feel like those nozzles are pretty much indestructible. Honestly, I can put one on a fast printer like a bamboo and I love the blue anodizing. Bamboo should really do that. Anything blue is better. I'm, I'm always here for the blue. This is a cool piece as well. This is awesome. Mike, what else is coming down the pipes here? What else you got going on? We've definitely got some more very exciting things that I will continue to tease you about on social media. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, the The rest of this year is going to be very exciting. Yeah. We've got, we've got one more big one. We've saved maybe one of the biggest for the end of the year, so we'll see. All right, give me, you got to give me something. You can't do this to me, man. And that's all I'm going to give you. Well, and I'm going to be seeing you in your home area. That's true. In a few months. Yes. Really excited. We're going to be at the Sanjay Mortimer Rep Rap Festival coming up in December in Oxford. So stay tuned for that as well, because if all goes well, we're shaving my head. That is exciting. Yeah, we're going to shave my head, or at least that's the current plan to do that. Mike, thank you so much thank for you. talking with me about this. Guys, check out E3D. Links are in that description down below. Let us know what you think of the Revo Diamondback, what you think of the Panda Revo as well. Love to know your thoughts and opinions, especially you bamboo owners. Would you put something like this on your bamboo? Anyways, take a look at the awesome companies we've been talking to in that description down below. Check out E3D. Donate to the Sanjay Mortimer Foundation as well. SMF links. That will be the first link in the description down below because you really should. It's good to support makers and especially a 501c3 nonprofit that is there to support the neurodiverse makers among us like yours truly. And quite a few of you that are watching at home. Anyway, stay safe out there. Don't forget to call your loved ones. And as always, keep making awesome. Have a good one. Thanks, Mike. The collab happens because of guys like Amber and, and his, or Amber, listen, uh, Grant and Amber that, that introduced us.